So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video and today guys, I bring you the showcase of a weapon I literally guys haven't seen barely anyone speak about. This thing is one of the most unique weapons in the entire game. It offers something nothing else in this game offers as far as I'm aware. It's a brand new staff called the Staff of the Great Beyond. And guys, trust me, you don't want to miss this. How's it going, people? My name is DPJ. And if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. So if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So when we look at the weapon, we look at it. It doesn't necessarily look like it offers or portray anything unique about it. I mean, there's no skill attached to it. Just looks like a normal staff. Looks pretty cool in its design, no doubt about it. Scales with uh, strength, intelligence and faith requires 7 strength, uh, 25 intelligence and 25 faith. That's it. That's literally it. That's all you get. So why would you even pick this up considering it comes from a remembrance, which we'll talk about in a second. Well guys, that's because it does do something super, super unique will allow certain builds to be super super versatile so as you're seeing right here guys this thing not only can cast sorcery spells but it can also cast incantations all on the same weapon for instance if i want to use golden vow i press my light attack this staff will cast golden vow screwing black flame Dragon Fire Yes it does people But then if you want to use Simple Sorcery as well This thing does it all I mean how unique is that Like I said it ain't just a pretty design This thing is super super unique So how do you even get this thing Because I know people are thinking Well get this That's quite cool well guys, you actually have to complete a, well not fully complete it, we have to get to a point where you take out the meter mother of fingers, which is a boss, you're seeing a bit of this on the screen now. This is a boss that you interact with and fight at the end of Ymir's uh, quest line, which takes place and actually starts all the way up here in the Cathedral of Mana Meter. So it isn't one you can really miss, you can always come back to this no matter how far you are in the story in regards to... Um, the point of no return but yeah you have to take out this boss you have to more or less complete Yuma's uh, quest line which has also got some other amazing weapons tied to it but once you do this you then get the remembrance of meeting over her fingers and then guys you need to go to the round table go and visit a uh, finger reader and pick up this weapon from that remembrance now guys if you've already picked the other weapon from the remembrance don't forget there are three uh, stone coffin altars, I believe they're called that. By the stone coffins, anyway, will allow you to duplicate the um, remembrance weapons and sorcery and incantations, whatever they offer. So, if you've already spent and used a remembrance, you can always go to one of three of these that I found on the Shadow Realm map and you can pick up this staff, this staff of No Beyond. Now, if you're interested in the Ymir quest line, I'll link it in the video description. I made a complete guide on that as well as the three stone coffin locations which will allow you to duplicate and use again those remembrances from any boss from the entire game not just the DLC by the way uh, it will allow you to get this staff of the great beyond which is super super unique like I said he ain't really a mage type player but I know for an absolute fact this thing is super unique and what it does it's going to be a versatile for many many builds I mean you can use this in your main hand use a weapon in your off hand vice versa switch them around this will allow you to stop switching between seals and staffs make you a bit lighter on your players load i mean what's not to love about it guys an all-in-one staff that can cast incantations as well as that sorcery unbelievable simple as that guys just want to showcase this weapon because i've barely seen anyone even talk about it i want to see builds i want to see you guys create builds in this game. if you have created a build in this already it's pretty good Hit me up on my Discord if you want me to showcase it. I'd love to do that. Let me know. My Discord is linked down below. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. So if you like what you're seeing, some more out me, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my be YouTube people. I will see you on that next one.